Namaste, hello viewers, a very good afternoon. Welcome to our FB live session. And today we have an interesting topic, which is a latest topic. And for the first time in South India, it has happened in Apollo Hospitals, Hyderabad. And today's our topic for discussion is daycare fast track total knee replacement surgery, which is recently done in Apollo Hospitals, Hyderabad by our very own well-known Dr. KJ Reddy sir, who is a senior consultant orthopedic surgeon, joint replacement and orthoscopy specialist at Apollo Hospitals Hyderabad. Dr. KJ Reddy sir himself has done this first time in South India, daycare fast track total knee replacement surgery in Hyderabad recently in the month of November and successfully we have even done a second case also in the same. So welcome to our Facebook live session sir. And so dear viewers, if at all you have any doubts related to TKR, that is total knee replacement surgery and if you want to know anything more about this daycare procedure, so leave your doubts in the comment session, we will be taking them during the live session and Dr. K. Reddy sir will be answering them. So welcome to our session. Sir, as the topic itself says, daycare fast track total knee replacement surgery. Give us a brief introduction sir so that we will go in detail in, during our session. Namaste, welcome to the program. Daycare fast track total knee replacement. Um, e, uh, daycare, this is um, a revolution in the way we manage osteoarthritis. And we all know that no total knee replacement has become very common nowadays. It has become like a normal cataract surgery. Um, and uh, previously we used to keep the patients maybe three to four days in the hospital, then send them home. And it is a big revolution in the way of fast track daycare total knee replacement. That means we are able to admit the patient on the day of operation, do the surgery, send home on the same day. This is possible because of course various factors, uh, patient selection, the anesthesia we give, the operation technique we use and to some extent the instrumentation, post-op management as well as post-op monitoring at home is very much possible. And the most important thing is nowadays, especially with the COVID all around us, this is very appropriate because we don't like to keep the patients long. Putting patients and their relatives at risk because there will be visitors for the patient coming in, going out. They will be at risk. Patient, uh, other friends will be at risk. Of course, hospital staff also will be at risk because too many visitors. So this is a, a big revolution in the way we manage total knee replacement and probably this would be the future. So tell us the difference between the traditional total knee replacement surgery and this latest daycare fast track TKR surgery. Yeah, that's very, very good question. In a standard total knee replacement, we admit the patient a day before, do the surgery on the day and they will stay in the hospital maybe three days, four days and we do physiotherapy change the dressing and send them home on a fourth or fifth day. But in case of daycare, fast track total knee replacement, we admit the patient on the morning of the day of surgery and send them home on the evening of the same day. And before they go home, we make them to stand, walk and explain them and train them in doing physiotherapy exercises. So sir, as you have mentioned, daycare fast track, it, uh, as a common audience, it is understood that the surgery will be done on the same day and the patient will also be sent on the same day. So what is the different techniques uh, that we use? Is, is, the, is it the same surgery or is there any difference in the surgical procedure? Yeah, that's also a good question. It is the implants would be the same, but the technique would be different in the sense we select the people who are suitable. Probably if you say, if you take 100 patients, maybe 20, 25 would be suitable for this uh, procedure. And we give anesthesia. It will be anesthesia only for the leg. We don't give anesthesia to entire body or epidural or big anesthesia. So we anesthetize only the leg in the form of a femoral block or ad adductor canal block. And mainly the operation site is made numb. And of course, the incision will be very small when compared to conventional uh, TKR and also of course wherever required we use uh, uh, computer navigation and the most important thing is uh, post-op management has changed because the pain control is 
under control of the patient, we will put a catheter little tube which is connected to the knee joint where we did operation and the patient will be given a switch which will, uh, when you press, there will be small amount of medicine will be released into the knee which will relieve the pain. So patient will control when and how he wants pain uh, analgesia. Also it will be very confident for the patient because patient uh, will be very comfortable and confident that uh, he can take painkiller whenever you want. It also have a control where excess dose is prevented. You can have certain amount of dose in a given particular hour. So sir, as you are mentioning uh, that the, once the surgery is done at home, the care needs to be uh, given at very monitoring them regularly. So at home care, so what is that from Apollo side that we will be doing it to ensure that the patients reach home and they are in a safe zone, sir? Yeah, that's also a good question. We have Apollo home care and Apollo eICU, that means electronic ICU monitoring. So Apollo health home care, what they do, they will put a nurse 24 hours. There will be one nurse daytime, one nurse nighttime and there will be a visiting doctor along with physiotherapy and if required orthopedic surgeon. So they will be monitored 24 hours and there is a group where all the recordings of the patient, their pain level, their blood pressure, their sugar, all monitoring will be done and it will be available to all the people, entire team, including me, we keep them under observation for next 48 hours. And what happens is, uh, um, in case of any emergency, we identify the location of the patient and we we prepare or warn the ambulance, Apollo ambulance 1066 people so that in case of any emergency, in case patient needs to come back, they will be informed and within 20 minutes they will be to the hospital. And also we have EICU monitoring where the um, critical care specialist will be monitoring um, over the patient through EICU because patient will be attached to monitor which will recordings will be transmitted to the EICU where a patient enters uh, vitals will be monitored, status will be monitored, pain levels will be monitored and every medicine will be adjusted according to their requirement. So sir, as you were mentioning, it is understood that everything that we are using is the latest advanced technology which will help the patient ease their pain and get back to the normal life. Yes. So, so once the surgery is done and discharged, how many days will it take for a common man or a person to walk properly? Means like I know I did understand that this very next day itself you will make them to walk a little bit, but they themselves doing their work, they standing themselves and all. How many days will that time yeah, take? Yeah, yeah. I think that's also. It doesn't make any difference to long term results of the patient. That means the first six weeks will be much quicker. The recovery will be much quicker because the muscles will recover faster which will help them in walking physiotherapy will be much quicker because there will be less pain so normal see in standard probably one week to ten days they might have to use a support but here within a couple of days they may be able to walk independently provided they are reasonably fit so the immediate recovery will be much quicker and psychologically emotionally they will be better supported at home so we all know recovery will be much quicker at home as it's proven very well scientifically that 90% of the deliveries in European or American countries are done at home because results are much better, the recovery is much better and patients are happier. That's what we are going to do in case of a total replacement. So sir, uh, as you are mentioning about the recovery rate once the patient is with their family members or not, so their uh, entire uh, mood swings itself will change their their feeling of trauma will be out and out. So coming to a first case uh, which was done on a diabetic patient. Yeah. So the, it is a female uh, patient who is more than 60 years of age and who is having diabetes. Yeah. So people who are having such comorbid conditions like sir, like diabetes, hypertension, are they suitable for this uh, procedure sir? Yes. I think that's also a good question. Having diabetes and uh, blood pressure is not a problem provided they are well controlled. Rest of the um, body is functioning well, especially kidneys, heart, they do not have any major uh, medical problems. And interestingly, as you mentioned, first patient, um, she had uh, a knee replacement as a standard inpatient. She was in for about four days in the past and this time she was discharged on the same day. 
so she was so thrilled and uh, her own experience you can see is uh, so much better because uh, especially covid time um, she felt much better more confident quick recovery with own food people their own friends fellow relatives around so our experience is much better than the first surgery thank you so much sir and sir as you are mentioning about the implants and the technique so please elaborate a bit more about the technique or the surgery procedure for this uh, yeah. fast track sir yeah the anesthesia as we said we only anesthetize the knee part by doing a femoral block and the adductor canal block where the nerve supplying the knee joint only paralyzed or made numb and of course incision instrumentations are uh, mis instrumentation that means uh, minimal incision uh, technique instrumentation of course implants implant will be standard implants whether you want uh, standard companies like uh, johnson johnson smith and nephew striker zimmer same implants as a conventional because we cannot change the implants implants would be the same and the size of the incision will be just to put the implant inside and of course post operatively we pain control is again by uh, patient controlled analgesia that's called pca where patient will hold a control and uh, they can deliver painkiller to the site surgical site where uh, pain is uh, present at uh, their convenience as and required so who are the most suitable patients sir like uh, i do understand that patients who are suffering with severe osteoarthritis are the first category of people who require knee replacement but apart from that any other special criteria in choosing patients sir yeah that's such a important because they have to go through battery of tests and of course assessment um and age as such what happens is uh, age is no oh, big limiting factor as long as they are fit and their blood pressure sugar well controlled and they oh, they, they are suitable for uh, this kind of anal, uh, anesthesia and most of their conditions can be monitored at home is someone with a comorbid condition like uh, uncontrolled diabetes or blood pressure needs to be admitted in the hospital for better monitoring those are not suitable but people who are better controlled comorbid conditions can be done at home and it is all through screening tests at any stage this can be stopped in the sense at the pre-anesthetic or after surgery also if we feel patient is not fit to go home on the say same day we will keep them in the hospital as long as they need and sir there is one more question sir sir can this be done as a revision of knee replacement surgery like how we do revision of hip replacements and all as part of the revision can this procedure be done in day care basis probably if it is simple revision what happens in the knee joint there are three components if you can only revise the middle part yes you can do it in day case but if it is a total revision presently no it's not possible because a longer procedure and they need uh, better monitoring in hospital thank you so much sir and sir uh, our second case that we have done is a 70 year old male patient who was also a diabetic and earlier he had a hip replacement which was not successful so you happened to perform him a revision of hip replacement and within next 3 weeks you have done this day care fast track total knee replacement please tell us about uh, this case sir because this is uh, a patient having trauma condition of having a failure of hip replacement he coming forward and getting his two replacements done one is hip and the other is in fast track day care knee replacement so that is a new case like in revolution please elaborate sir yeah this is a 70 year old uh, man father of a gynecologist um, unfortunately his um, hip replacement was not uh, successful so we had to revise his hip and at the same time i told him because just replacing his hip uh, will not help him because he had uh, severe osteoarthritis on the same side i told him we will do the hip first then you have to come back for the knee replacement uh, because uh, um, it won't help him to full extent if we leave him like that he still have a painful knee so we did a hip replacement recovered well um, came back after 3 weeks um, his diabetes was well controlled so we were able to offer him a um, fast track day care knee replacement and uh, he has done today only i saw him uh, about 3 weeks uh, post uh, um knee replacement as well as hip replacement is walking independently is so grateful because he was saying he never thought he will walk again in his life i know sir i have heard many such successful stories dear audience i have seen many cases of dr kejare these are patients who who was told by many doctors saying they will be bedridden 
but sir after doing successful hip and knee replacement surgeries many have started walking and they are so overwhelmed and joyed and they thank doctor so dear audience if at all you have any such issues and you still have any doubts just leave them in the comment section or you can even call the given number in the com in the text box or you can even send us an email we will get in touch with you and ensure that you get a consultation with dr k jareddy sir and so sir as this surgery sounds so complicated i don't think the surgery procedure might be that complicated and is pain causing for patients because the anesthesia that you were saying is less uh, the technique that is less and they have their own pain monitoring system so sir will there be any side effects of this surgery i'm just asking this as a in point of view of a patient yeah. will there be any side effects post surgery yeah absolutely no surgery is without side effects without complications we have to monitor them prevent them if, we, if they come we have to treat them um like any other knee replacement what happens is uh, we we made it a smaller uh, incision a smaller procedure though implant is same so the complications on the whole will be less because the biggest complications we are worried about is infection second thing is dvt infection of course we take all the precautions and we send them home um with the clean environment so the chances of getting infected will be less and apart from that dvt deep vein thrombosis the incidence is so low because we are able to mobilize them on that same day there is no bed rest so the dvt prophylaxis chemical prophylaxis is not required the best way of preventing dvt is mobilizing the patient which will help them thank you so much sir and so sir as you said within 6 weeks of time patients will be able to walk and move on their own but sir there might be some do's and don'ts for them so that they don't fall back into the same condition so what are those don'ts sir for the post surgery care that patients or family members need to follow at home yeah i think that's important uh, question and i just want to um clarify one more thing because the most of the people believe that uh, just the implant itself will make the difference it's not the implant if you take percentage 60% is surgery 20% is implant 20% is patient himself because if patient is not cooperative not able not cannot do things which he was told to do then it won't be successful uh, most important thing is we are worried, worried about infection so initial stages when they are at home not too many visitors they should have a clean bedroom clean bathroom every day maybe two three times cleaning it and one attender and you should not keep changing attenders one um, fixed attender probably one maybe two for next one week till wound is healed that will prevent infection and, and of course they should have good physiotherapy probably we will send a physiotherapist home you will come once in a day but you have to do physiotherapy on your on your own maybe three to four times if you do just one session and the rest of the day you don't do anything that's not good because muscles because of the osteoarthritis muscles have become weak because of the pain so you have to strengthen them to uh, we help you because what happens is normal healthy person 50% of the weight goes to the joint 50% should go through the muscles these muscles have become weak so you have to strengthen them the quicker you make them strong the faster you recover from the surgery thank you so much sir and as you mentioned physiotherapy plays a major key role post surgery and which everybody should be following sir actually we have a question from an audience my wife is suffering from joint pain she is handicapped so uh, actually i think he is seeking help now i would like to say dear audience that you can book online consultation as well with dr kejar reddy sir just give a call to the number given up and you will can get the online consultation done easily sir so, sir many people have this knee pain problems even at a younger age Yes. to be frank even i have faced the same problem and sir has treated me and so sir people what are the precautions that people should take that they don't fall into this osteoarthritis yeah care? that's also a good question as you can see surgery is the last option 90% of the patients can be treated non operatively and 50% of the patients can be treated with simple measures like physiotherapy simple analgesics and a little bit of activity modification what happens is normal person they repair their cartilage as and go because day to day walk, walking they will be damaged in osteoarthritic patients this repair mechanism is lost so most important thing is they should have a regular exercise regular walking and those who already started pains should strengthen their muscles should avoid some of the activities like going up and down stairs too many time squatting on the floor 
but they should make effort to walk even little painful because nutrition of the joint comes from walking if you don't move the joint the articular cartilage will not get any nutrition in an unhealthy joint you need more nutrition so movement of the joint is very very important thank you so much sir and sir how does diet play a role in maintaining a healthy bones and relieving us from joints because the sedentary lifestyle and due to this covid people not going for activities and all they just consuming food you know the calorie uh, is not being spent as yeah. it has to be so i think major role is diet please guide us about the diet sure sir. sure eating diet is diet plays a big role in um, general health as well as joint health and you should have a balanced diet you should not take too much of sugars too much of uh, fat you should take good fresh vegetables fresh fruits dry nuts maybe average you can take about 10 to 15 dry nuts in a in a week or maybe average you can take about 5 five dry fruits in a in a day and of course along with a good glass of milk or yogurt if you take that gives enough calcium and you don't have to take too many tablets if you take this balanced diet combination of fresh fruits vegetables nuts milk milk products that's good enough for your bones and the biggest best medicine for muscles bones joints is exercise the exercise is the best medicine it will keep your muscles strong your bones strong which will prevent osteo osteoporosis and your joints healthy which will prevent osteoarthritis thank you so much sir and let me ask you a question so which i know the answer but i think many of the audience don't know so what is the role of vitamin d in joint health sir yes that's also a good question in osteoarthritis vitamin d does not have any role as such but it if vitamin d deficiency is there um there will be weakness of the bones because of our lifestyle we are not exposed to sunlight and the sunlight between 10 am to 3 pm will have a rays which will convert our cholesterol into vitamin d you have to get exposed about oh, maybe 20 to 30 minutes which most of the time is not practical so what i would advise is those who have deficiency should take vitamin d about 60000 uh, uh, units weekly once for about 6 weeks then you maintain may take one tablet a month that good, that's good good enough because when you taking by orally it will not cause a toxicity so you don't have to worry and you do sometimes you don't have to worry about sitting in the sun for a very long time burning your skin so take one tablet in a month for those who have normal levels of vitamin d so sir taking excessive vitamin d is it uh, uh, it will it give any adverse results yes if it especially if you inject vitamin d there is a, a toxicity i mean it can cause blindness and other uh, complications but if it is taken orally most of the time our body regulates at the intestinal level so it will not absorb if you have enough vitamin d but if you feel if taking too many you must get checked and uh, stop taking too many but as a whole if you take 60000 in a month 60000 unit tablet in a month i think that's good enough Yes sir thank you so much sir and sir final words to our audience about this daycare fast track total knee replacement surgery sir Yes i think this is the way forward and it uh, helps in the sense uh, patients recover fast and one more thing it uh, works out to be cheaper because the hospital stays less so it's about 10 to 50% cheaper than um, conventional uh, total knee replacement and this is the way forward because you are getting back patients on to their uh, legs or on to their normal activity as quickly as possible like in the past for example cataract surgeries were done in patients they were kept in the bed bed rest so many things nowadays within 3 4 hours they sent home probably total knee replacement we are able to send about 6 to 8 hours after the surgery and uh, this would be the feature and those who are fit can be can undergo but we have to be very careful everybody may not able to Uh, take this operation and the decade and we should do, take all the precautions to prevent any complications if it is done so yes and not just that dear audience we need to choose the right expert also for treating and getting our surgery done for which dr kejareddy sir is our expert here so if at all you have any doubts queries and all you can always book online consultation with dr kejareddy sir online through askapollo.com or you can call the given number in the text box also your appointments will be duly booked 
Thank you so much sir, for joining us and educating us a lot. And I hope all our audience have also gained enough knowledge about this. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste.